All right, I'm going to share with you a short prayer from the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 36. You can find this prayer in the Apocrypha. It's a short prayer. It's not that long. Depending on what version of this book you're reading, this is a good news translation version. If you read the King James Version, for this prayer, it's a little longer. It's a few, few verses longer, and it contains much more detail in the writings. It has more quotes within the verses that you read. But this one is more user-friendly, and it's written in English that we can understand for our day and age, right? So basically, this prayer has to do with the heathens, those that are oppressing Yahuwah's people. And those that are over the heathens, which are the powers, principalities, and rulers of darkness of this age. Mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6. So I encourage everyone to stay prayed up, especially in these times. You know, a lot of times we wonder, why are we going through these droughts in our life where it seems that everything is going wrong, nothing seems to be going right. And little do we know it's because we're not praying against these demonic forces that are working through people and outside of the people to ruin our lives. So it's very critical that we pray to Abba Yah to keep these wretches at bay. Otherwise, believe me, they will run over you. So that's how you beat them up. You pray that the angels of Yah will take care of business. You know, and make them think twice about coming over into your life and causing trouble. You know, because there are a lot of people out there that willingly and ignorantly give themselves over to these demoniacs. So, yeah, which is the reason that I'm bringing forth this prayer is to help you, to help you keep these wretches far from you. And I know it says here that it's a prayer for Israel, and this is not a prayer for the Israel over in the Middle East. That is a Zionist, Canite, Satanic state of Israel. This is a prayer for the true Yashorel of the Almighty that can be found, well, the believers, which are the true Yashorel, not that piece of land. Yashorel is first and foremost a people, Jacob, and tribes the 12 tribes so yeah they are scattered all throughout this prayer is for them it is a prayer petition to the almighty to beat up on the enemies of yasharel okay and just be careful with the the names lord and god they are pagan deities names for satan so i encourage you to find and seek the true name of the Creator, the Almighty Yah and His Son, Yamaniel, and you start invoking those names because, believe me, you do not want to be praying these prayers in the names of these deities. Otherwise, it is of no value to you or anyone. So, just a quick FYI, all right? So, yeah, look over it and... I'll leave the link up so you just could take a look at it. I recommend you pray it at least once a week, if not more often. As often as you feel led to, as often as you can, do it. All right, so that's all I got for this video. And as always, much love and blessings. May the Most High protect you, keep you from all harm. And until next time, Shalom.